On this episode of Scott vs. Box, I open up the Sharpen Ultra Digital Pinball Bar Top sent to me by a Digital Pinball Company. Might as well call me Tommy, because I sure play a mean pinball. Scott vs. Box! This is the Sharpen Ultra Digital Pinball Bar Top. That's right, a digital pinball machine that is... Ah, bar top. This is cool. I've seen this thing online. Digital-pinball.com. Check out their website. This is cool. They sent it to me. I'm excited. This is the Ultra model. They have three different models. There's the Switch that allows to play Nintendo Switch ones. And then there's the Light. And then there's the Ultra. This thing. The Table Smasher. The Big Bam Pajama. I mean, they, I'm sure they got all kinds of names for it. But that's what this is. I'm excited. The world's... First Android pinball bar top. This is super cool. So uh, you can do pinball uh, via your Android and uh, your PC. Like the different models allow different things. It's super cool. Also, highly recommend uh, going to. I mean, I. This is not even a highly recommend. This is like a must recommend. You gotta go check out. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, their YouTube page, Gadget Force. So if you go to Gadget Force. They're giving away a free Sharpen Ultra Pinball Virtual Bar Top. They're giving one away. So Gadget Force on YouTube. Check them out. All the links are in the description below. So I got links for their website and links for their YouTube. So check that out, and you'll get a chance to win one of these yourself. All right, let's see here. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. My Achilles heel. Some assembly required. All right, well, we'll take a look here. Uh, I'm just not one of these great tech guys. It's just not my foray. But doesn't mean I'm not going to try. So let's see here. Got the construction manual. And uh, how many steps we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Nine steps. Okay. And it's not circuitry, which I immediately got scared for. I'm like, <gasps> soldering irons? No, no soldering irons. Okay. So I got a chance. <laughs> There's a chance. There's a chance I won't electrocute myself. There's a chance that I'll make it successfully. And I'm going to show it off, too, because I'm excited. I'm a big uh, pinball nut these past few years. I've been getting into a big time. As you see, I love the video games and the arcade games and all that. But, yes, pinball as well. And I want to play pinball at home, but got to get the big machines and then the things break down, but not digitally. Ha-ha! That's, the, that's, the, that's how you get them. So, all right. So, there's. let's see what the stuff is. Let's see if we can start to make sense of it all. Ooh, this packing peanuts. Oh, boy. Yeah. Karate chop. All right. So what do we got here? We got a B-Link. That's a thing. It's got a skull on it. That's cool. I don't know what these are. These are uh, GT King specification. All right. So what I'll, what I'll eventually end up doing here is I'll take a lot of these pieces out, show them off, and uh, we'll start. Uh, I'll start putting it together. I'm going to do that off camera because let's face it. No one wants to watch a Ken Burns documentary of me just failing and going, why am I so stupid? Why can't I figure it out? Uh, no one wants to see that. We got a lot of other pieces here, like covering some screws, uh, maybe part of the, like the, maybe the, not the flippers, but the button that hits the flippers. We got this box. This is the thing. What does this say? It says, um, arcade USB encoder. That's cool. That's like top secret stuff, right? All right, this is a USB speaker, portable, mind you. That's cool. I like that. All right, there's black, silver, and red silver. Which one's this one? I assume it's black silver. Cool. <gasps> Ooh, all right, we got this thing. Oh, that's, what is that? I think it's an egg incubator. I think you see this like right out of Aliens. Sure, that's a thing. Oh, all right. We're dealing with uh, different different countries' plugs here. That's all right. I got adapters. I got adapters. If need be. If need be. Ooh, what's this? Uh, travel plug. Hey, they sent me one too. That's awesome. So that's very courteous of them. So you know, in case you're uh, you're traveling, uh, you got a travel plug. All right. Useful. Useful. I'm making a mess. Oh, decals. Uh-oh. 
Oh, man, that's another thing I'm not great at, but I'm going to try. So you use a cutter to cut them, and then you put the decals on there. Sharpen, yeah, because it's the Sharpen Ultra. Very exciting for Digital Pinball Company. So we're going to put that on the sides and hopefully not screw it up. I got two of them. All right. I have a feeling here I'm going to have to haul something out rather massive soon, if not right now, almost. Oh, here's my buttons. Oh, that's so cool. I feel like a surgeon. Yep. That's got some good spring to them. I like that. Some black and white buttons there. All right. This thing's going to be big. All right. How am I going to get you out of here? Okay. Oh, boy. Ooh. What is that, oak? Mm, right. So this is part of it. <laughs> That's all I know. This is a thing. See that? It's wrapped up real nice. Uh, no damage. Everything looks good. Tip-top shape. Tip-top. Tip-top. So let's just put that down there. Oh, we're going to work out. It's not that heavy. I'm just weak. So that's not all, folks. There's more. Well, I guess I'll I'll feel really accomplished by doing this. And I'm sure this is a lot of people's preferences when it comes to this stuff. They want to put together themselves. They want to do, uh, you know, their own customization with everything. I get it. I'm just a dum dum. Can you make it for me, please? That's why I like to go out to eat. Can you make the food? I can't make the food. Can you make it? Oh, it's hard for me. I can't make it. What do you do with eggs? Well, you crack them out of a shell. Huh? That sounds dangerous. There's something in here. Hold on. I'm going to move this mic. And back this up a little bit. All right. What we got? Whoa. All right. Oh, it comes with styrofoam. There's that thing. That's good. I got one of these things now. Okay. Put that off to the side. Oh, boy. There's a bunch of stuff. Got to cut some of this off of here. This is exciting. This is this is like uncharted territory for me. Uncharted. So cut that. So we didn't cut any wires. Nope, seemingly not. Okay. Looks like we got a power adapter over here. There's that. It's got some tape on it still. Got to remove that later. And then... Got this, seemingly another source of power. Don't lose it. Okay, you have some uh, seemingly HDMI cables, but there's another cable as well. So we'll assess all that out later. All right, more tape over here. So there's something overall that's being, uh, being hidden in these compartments here. I mean, this is extensive. This is pretty dang cool. So, I hope all you pinball aficionados out there are getting excited. Because I know I am. And if you haven't already uh, subscribed to this channel, again, subscribe to Gadget Force. And get in on the craziness. Whoa! Holy schmoly. It's a monitor. So, this is Ultra. This is going to have a back screen to it. I was wondering about that. I was wondering what was included, but... Man, this is a big old Samsung monitor right here. That is nice. So, okay. I think that's about everything that's included here. <laughs> Jeepers. Wow. Wow. Okay. Where do these go? I don't know about these. What's supposed to happen with these? I got my work cut out for me. This is, this is major. Okay, so I showed you a lot of those other pieces. <laughs> this is gonna this is a nightmare in here now. My goodness, I'm excited. I thought it was bad when I do water guns and stuff. Uh-uh, uh-uh. This is this is chaos. Uh, but the best type of chaos. This is so cool. All right, so let's let's take a look at these speakers. <laughs> Now let's take a look at something so seemingly small next to everything else that's so gigantic and uh, currently overwhelming. To my feeble little brain. All right, so we got the speakers. They're wrapped up nicely here. And uh, just remove the outer packaging. And uh, it's a nice looking speaker, gotta say. Dual speakers right here. Okay. 
We got those. Don't lose anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's that thing still. Let's see what. Oh yeah, I want to see what this thing was. The B link. What's the B link? I'm sweating. Are you sweating? This is so cool. I'm so excited. So, digital pinball games. It's also really cool for uh, shmups. You know the shoot 'em ups because it's it's uh, the size of it when once it's constructed. I mean, you'll see here in a bit. But it's 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 going length. You know, it's not like everything's wide. Like you know, this is a square. It's got the square TV. But this is all about you know verticality. So pinball is gonna play right. Shoot 'em ups are gonna play right. And you're gonna see. I'm gonna demonstrate all this. I should have said that a while ago, but. I was too excited for the unboxing. This is a thing. <laughs> uh, well, it's got an uh, HDMI port. It's got seemingly what looks to be an Ethernet port. I'm not a smart tech guy. I don't know. But I'll follow all the instructions and figure it all out. So that's a thing. Does it say anything else? Say anything else that make me seem less dumb? No, people have already judged me correctly. Correctly. Uh, okay. There's that thing, and then plugs. Oh, oh, I might as well pop this open. Oh yeah, this is the um, this is the uh, arcade USB encoder, joystick, Android encoder. Mm, a chair la fancy. Don't hit the microphone, rookie. So this is gonna be cool because I'm gonna get me some digital pinball games. So, like I said, I think it works with PC for sure, Android, and then uh, PC should be capable as well. And then um. So I'm going to test all that out. I've got some pinball games. I definitely have digital pinball games. And uh, I'm going to test them out. And I'm super excited for this because nothing beats pinball than playing it with, you know, the buttons and getting the feel, uh, the real deal. But digitally, I think this is going to be such a close second to actually going out. And especially at the times when I don't feel like going out. Ooh, okay. This is the scariest thing to me. So... I'm going to trust that I'm going to be able to do it because it's pretty simple. There's like a circuit board and stuff in here. I'm not opening this right now because I'm going to lose it and I'm not going to lose it. Uh, and then there's a wires with seemingly like it go. It, it, it has pretty clear spots of where it should all go. So I'm going to get to it. Um, and you're going to see, uh, you're going to see me come back and ideally it's all going to be assembled and there won't be any small fires and I'll give you the real time of how long it took me to put it together. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, here we have it. It is fully assembled now. It was a labor of a little bit of stress and a lot of love. Uh, not my forte as I've explained, uh, not my expertise, but I got it done. Normally, I think it takes about two to three hours to do. I was worried I was going to make mistakes. Sure enough, I did. Um, wasn't the worst. Wasn't anything that was like, you know, couldn't repair or uh, couldn't undo, really. And um, But it turned out great. It's fine. Looks shopping. Looks quite shopping. Sorry, trying to showcase it and also uh, do all that. But I got to plug it in. So let's do that. One of the things about it, the remote doesn't take care of that for me. Um, so we're going to go into the pluses and the minuses. There's way more pluses with the systems than there are minuses, so don't you worry about that. Never mind the cat hair. Sometimes that happens out here. So, yes, it's powering up right now. Again, I told you it took about eight hours to assemble for me. Eight to nine. <gasps> the, f the flaming skull eyes. So it's firing up here. And um, so the layout's pretty cool. It rotates the screen right away because there's a TV screen here, obviously, as we've seen. And I set my favorites right here amongst the uh, the Play Store, the, the Google Android Play Store. So Zim Pinball Tops. I think it's great that it works with this. The digital pinball games are outstanding. Pinball Arcade, eh, the games are just a little weak, but they're there. And then Williams is a weird system, but I'll attempt to show all these to you. I've only scratched the surface with what this is capable of. But I'm excited to show you what I have so far. And I got to say right off the bat, the cabinet itself is outstanding. Having the buttons, the feel of it, the verticality of the screen, I can't say enough good things about it. But I'll try. So let's go into it. So there's a couple things to set up in here. Not too big of a deal. The remote works well. I've had a couple issues here and there, but when I reached out to uh, Digital Pinball, they were great. They helped me out with what I need to do. Again, I'm a little bit of a dummy when it comes to this stuff, 
but um, I've had some remote issues and some other stuff, but overall, seemingly, everything seems to be working okay. So sometimes the pointer's a little odd, but then when in doubt, I can just use the arrows on the remote itself and just choose, oh, never mind, I guess <laughs> that overrides, so come on. There we go, pointer. Now wait a minute. I'm not backwards. Oh, I am kind of backwards. What's going on? Yeah. And I guess, too, the other thing is, uh, for a lot of things, you can still use the buttons, the side buttons and the up and downs here. And it takes a little bit to get used to, but it still works in large part in case the remote's a little wonky. But I bought a couple of games on here. Comes with Sorcerer's Lair. And all these I've played before on... Um, oh, I'm going to have to turn on the volume on some of these games with the... Uh, with the well, let's do Sorcerer's Lair, and that way I don't have to worry about any copyright anything but you know i want to be able to show off games to you without getting flagged for the old uh oh well, that's star wars music bro disney's gonna take your hide so look at this again play these games on xbox one played them on nintendo switch and that looks amazing here because as you'll see you can see the whole screen look at that there's no there's no moving up down there's no uh, having to adjust the camera angles to something that you have to settle for. I can see the whole play board. I play way better on this than I play any of those. And I'm all right. I'm not the worst, and I'm certainly not the best. But the highest scores I've ever achieved in any of these games so far are playing it with the Sharpen Digital Pinball Ultra. So I'm not going to play too long on here. I'm just showcasing how much easier this is to to see and to use the buttons again the buttons are so great on here it gives you that feeling of being uh in an arcade playing an actual pinball cabinet and uh allows it just works so much better to me than a than a uh controller and i've, I've played with a controller i've tried different things tried different tactics on it mapping the buttons differently nothing beats this flat out this alone Makes this machine so great. So again, there you have it. There's that one there. Sorcerer's Apprentice. Uh, so let's... Sorcerer's Lair. Oh, sorry. So let's see here. Let's let's uh, exit the game. How do we exit the game? Uh, yes, yes, yes. It's fine. I'll get the top score another time. So let's uh, let's check out... Oh, I got, I got a Return of the Jedi. Again. Zen Pinballs is really great. The only complaint I'd have, again, this is not about uh, all the, the layouts of the games, but since these are on Android, I'd love to just be able to buy packs of the games rather than just game by game. Uh, on Zen, they're about $1.99 each from what I've discovered, and that's fair. For two bucks, that's fine. Play this game a lot and uh, find the games that I want to play over and over again because, again, I played a lot of them on console, so I know the ones I'll eventually just want to get. But with this layout, I'll probably end up getting them all. So, let's take a gander here. I'll showcase the sides a little bit. Me hitting the side buttons. Again, these are responsive in real time. There's no lag. Everything is just perfect. It feels like you're playing a, uh, a real pinball machine. Um, with the exception of, obviously, everything digital and no backboard. But it, it's great. Like... I know there's so many other things to do with this machine with the Sharpen Digital Pinball Ultra. There's stuff like you can get a Bluetooth controller with it, and I know you can do shoot 'em ups but I haven't figured out how to do any of that stuff yet. Again, I'm a dummy, and I know that. But I'm excited to learn more about this stuff and utilize this machine even more. I don't know if you could use Steam with this in any way, if there's any like screen sharing or... If there's an app that you could play Steam games on it and try the digital pinball games there, or even some shoot 'em ups, or even what Xbox has in store with their uh, with Game Pass, so all of it sounds really cool, super exciting. This looks amazing. Another game that I've played on Switch and Xbox, and just not the same. I can't get a perfect camera angle where I can see everything that I want. This is all laid out great. The shots I'm getting uh, are so much easier with the buttons, with the visuals. And I've gotten higher scores on this than anything else. This game's great. I love this game and I love playing on this. And I could do that the whole time. And I have to stop. Stop. Let's see here. Go back home again. And home again. And then I'll show off one other one 
Here I got American Dad. We'll just take a look at it real quick. Again, just to get the look. Take a seat here. Look at that. It's beauty. Look at the beauts. So Zen uh, is doing really great stuff uh, with all their games. And just the look of it's great. And I just got this one today. So I've hardly played it. I know it's got the voice samples from the show. Even Patrick Stewart's in it. And it seems a lot of, like a lot of fun. So I've yet to tackle this one. So that's that one. So let me show you some of the other ones here. Going back to the home screen. And then let's do Pinball Arcade. Oop. See, there's that cursor down there again. So wait, how do I... Come on now. Come on. There we go. Yeah, sometimes it's a little tricky, but I will take that. That is not that big of a deal. So we're firing up Pinball Arcade here. Also works fine. I tried out a couple other apps. I, I searched around to see what there was, but there's not a lot of info of, hey, what works great with the with the Sharpen Ultra Digital Pinball Bar Top? No. There's not a whole lot of info on this, but I, I hope to contribute to that. And I'll be honest, never before have I really been compelled to do any follow-up videos for anything that I unbox. This is the first. Uh, I've been wanting to do Let's Plays and stuff on the channel. Oh, I got me a Mary Shelley's Frankenstein right here. Hey guys, I'm Robert De Niro. Uh, I'm, I really want to do follow-ups on these. I want to see if I can figure out how to map a controller to it and do other games. So... While this game's a bit of a rough transition and the physics aren't all that awesome, again, way better on this system than anything else. So it's set to camera mode three, which is probably good. I could futz with that a little bit if I wanted to, but even still for right now for this demo, I can see the vast majority of the board at any time and it's zooming in a little bit and that doesn't bother me at all. It's, it's basically like focusing my eyes while playing it. And again, I have the volume low on this just so I don't know what gets flagged anymore. I might, or even De Niro's face is getting all scarred up. That might get flagged. I don't know. I don't want to find out. I just want to make pinball friends. Isn't that right, Robert De Niro? So, again, this looks outstanding. So let me see. Can I mess with the camera angles? I can. So it looks like one might just be the standard one right there where it'll just lock it in place. So I have all those options. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to exit the game. There we go. Yes, I would. And then, yeah, it's figuring out some of the, because it's meant for an Android phone, so it's, what what does it want? What do I do? So again, I got uh, this pack, so I've got a, a few other games here. Let's see here. Oh, this game's outstanding. Oop, bip, bip, bip. Well, Star Trek's up here, and that's what I'm attempting to select. Yeah, here we go. I love this game. Again, a bit of rough translation with how they laid it out in this. I think it was early before Pinball FX3 or whoever was doing these like really took over and really made them solid. Again, like if I can't get the remote to do it, there's a button that'll allow me to, to do ultimately what I want to do. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't look to the full capacity of what the what other digital versions of this game are, but the sound is great. Uh, it plays amazing like all these do. So, again, so thrilled with this. This is such a cool machine. So, let's go to one more. I know I don't want to overstay my welcome with all this, and I'll, I'll start to get into the, nope. <laughs> no, don't, don't know my city. Um, let's see here. There we go. So, like I said, the remote can be a little tricky at times. No, I don't want to do Zen Studio again. <laughs> let's try this again here. Oh, it was, wait, okay, hold on. There we go, and that helps clear out any other apps going right now. So now Williams is fired up and we're good to go. I forgot that they work in conjunction together. So Williams is a little weird with the layout and what it's gonna do, but it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna show you some games. So the remote isn't exactly what I hope for. I can't get the page up and down button to work. I've seen other people do it in their videos. The cursor sometimes gives me a little trouble and the power button doesn't actually turn the power off. It can turn off the internal guts, but it doesn't turn off the TV. So I was told I need to unplug and plug in the system um, in order to make it work. And that works okay, but I think ultimately when I put it where I'm gonna put it, I now have to compensate by putting some power strip or something that I can access because that's just not how everybody does it. So it's not a total inconvenience. It's a bit of a bummer, but um, it's not the end of the world by any means. 
And the other thing, let's see here if we can get the hello cursor, cursor, come alive. I welcome ye. All right. Well, as I figure that out, I'll tell you the other thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on here with this one. See, something like I said, this game can be tricky. There, there we go. Got the cursor going. Um, the other option that I have, which is which is quite helpful, is uh, I can reach into the back of this machine actually, because underneath uh, when I was constructing it, so there's a little flap in between here where there's an opening, and right behind there is where the button is for the TV. So because I have very thin wrists, I'm actually able to reach in there and turn on the button that way. So that is an option as well. Um, I don't think everybody has that luxury, but I happen to. So I thank my lucky stars. Hello. Oh, boy. So this doesn't happen often in some of the trials I do. And this, again, is Williams. So I'm trying to showcase to you. Other than that. I'd say it's just some of the lack of digital pinball games or the systems like this that are a little hard to use with Android and this device. So uh, uh, I would showcase this off if I could, but right now I don't think I can. So maybe I'll just end on another. <sighs> yeah, are we going to get anything here? But again, the system's amazing. I, I sooner blame Williams on this one. So I'll go back home. Do that. There we go. I got that this to work. So let's do Zen again and I'll show off a little bit more. There we go. But it's cool. It's a it's a very easy interface overall. It's a very easy setup. And for those that know what they're doing, this works out really, really well. So let me tell you, digital-pinball.com. I'm sorry I was incorrect about the giveaway. The giveaway has already ended at this time, but it doesn't mean that you still shouldn't go check out uh, their YouTube page, which is, uh, let me see here. It is, it is uh, Gadget Force. So check out Gadget Force. They're awesome. They're, this is so cool. Nope, cancel. Nope, 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 hit the wrong thing. <laughs> no, I'm going to end up, there we go. So Gadget Force is great. Like they'll have more updates and they'll show off more stuff. There's a Nintendo Switch version. There's another version of these machines. Like check it out. See what they got going on. Who knows? They may do another giveaway soon. Let them know Scott versus Box sent you. Check out Gadget Force. Check out digital-pinball.com. There's all kinds of cool stuff going on. Um, and this is for pinball lovers. This is, uh, you know, if you can't have any more machines or if digital pinball starts picking up a whole lot more, this seems like a no brainer. This seems like a really great way to play digital pinball games at home if you're also finding the consoles are lacking and don't have the layout uh, that you want. And uh, this is just a really solid way to go. And I hope that digital pinball makers step up their game and more things can be used in conjunction with this. And like I said, maybe Xbox and Steam are going to pick up on this as well and figure out the cool stuff that can happen with this. So I say support them. I say check it out. Uh, check out their social media. Check out their YouTube page. Check out... All that good stuff. Let them know Scott vs. Box sent you. And uh, you know where I'm going to be. I'm going to be here. But I'm going to be rocking out the sound, which is great and loud on this. Uh, but I can't do it here. But I'll do it once this video is over. So thanks for watching, everybody. May the force be with Digital Pinball. Sharpen Digital Ultra. Boom. Whew. That was epic like all my unboxings. So to be sure to subscribe by clicking right up here, and then also you can watch more Scott vs. Box videos by clicking right over here. And join the notification squad by clicking on that bell, then you'll know when every unboxing comes. <sighs> Time to do aerobics.